JSW Steel has been in talks to buy Italy's steel plants Ilva and Lucini. Now, Chairman Sajan Jindal confirmed talks for the Ilva plant that are at a very nascent stage. Now, Amrita knows more on these acquisitions and she's joining us uh, in the newsroom. Amrita, take us through the transactions here. Well, clearly, JSW Group seems to be cashing in on Italy's uh, distressed, uh, distressed assets. Lucini, to begin with, uh, uh, JSW Steel has uh, submitted a binding bid to acquire all of uh, Lucini's assets, barring the uh, blast furnace, which is currently shut. Uh, on the investment side, uh, the acquisition cost is being pegged at as low as less than $100 million. Uh, remember that the company is expected to be out of uh, bankruptcy soon, so this would be a clean asset without any debt or any other kind of liabilities. Uh, on the timeline, uh, the group chairman, Sajan Jindal, seems hopeful to start operations at this 2.5 million steel capacity uh, based out of Italy as early as end of 2014. In fact, listen in more from Mr. Jindal why he thinks uh, Lucini as an acquisition fits well into JSW Steel's Europe strategy. JSW Steel is mostly exporting uh, flat products into Europe and Lucini is a long products uh, mark, uh, producer. Uh, in uh, specialized in specialty long products like rails, bars, uh, wire rods on very of very high technology. So JSW Steel is uh, planning to acquire has has uh, given a binding bid to the uh, government uh, for it's a bankrupt company so it will come out of bankruptcy and we will acquire it uh, if it's approved by the government. Not just Lucini, uh, JSW is also looking at Europe's largest uh, steel-making plant, Ilwa, which is a privately owned asset and also again a troubled one as it is uh, at the center of environmental scandal. Uh, there's no, uh, sure, the, the company has not shared figures on the investment side saying that talks for this specific asset is still at a very nascent stage. Uh, now what is interesting is uh, analysts have been very skeptical of JSW's uh, increasing presence in Europe. Uh, uh, Sajan Jindal on the contrary says he's very confident of his policies and expects these acquisitions to uh, fare well, uh, specifically speaking about a um, high technology market like Europe. So we'll have to wait and watch how it works out for JSW Steel.